Hi everyone, Aaron Dell here from AWS. Today, I'm gonna to really quickly show you how to create an inventory report using the Kudos dashboard. So this is a use case where maybe you need to create reports that get emailed to your colleagues or to other people within your organization on a regular basis that are tables or lists of various resources that, are, that, that exist in your cloud. I'm going to show you how to create this in the Kudos dashboard and you can kind of take it from there once you get started. So with the Kudos dashboard, what you're going to do is first create a new tab. And I would recommend maybe naming this tab inventory, let's call it workspaces, for example, right? And make sure you spell it correctly with a P, workspaces. Okay, so now I've got this new blank tab. Then I'm going to head over to, in this case, the end user computing. And I'm gonna use an existing list of resource IDs to start with. That I always recommend starting with an existing visual. So in this case, I have my workspaces top 20 from the previous month. And these are the lists of the workspace IDs. This is what I want. So I'm gonna first start by going and duplicating it over to that new tab that I created, inventory workspaces. And instead of just showing me the top 20, I'm gonna go in and change the filter and remove it. So now I'm gonna have the entire list of workspaces. So this is a great way to create an inventory report. Now I have this tab dedicated to workspaces inventories, but perhaps I wanna create a new tab and talk about a different kind of inventory. So let's take a look at databases and we can see if there's any, any inventory lists here that we wanna try and duplicate over. And I usually find them down at the bottom. So in this case, we've got uh, top 10 instances by usage cost from the previous month. So these are database instances. So let's take this one as well and duplicate it over to that blank tab that I created, which we'll have to rename uh, database instances. We'll call this rename database instances. Excellent. And then we're going to remove that filter that makes it just the top 10, we're going to have it be all of all of our database instances. All right, so uh, now I've got two tabs that are dedicated to just lists of inventory. One is for workspaces and the other is for databases. And we talked about how you can continue to add other tabs. But what I really want to do is make a reporting mechanism. So I'm going to start by removing all of these other tabs that are not relevant. So you just go through here and click delete and you can delete all of these tabs here. Okay, now I have a dashboard with just two and I'm going to go ahead and click on share and publish dashboard. And I'm going to call this my inventory report. Publish that dashboard. And what this is going to do is create a read only version of this analysis. We don't want to save that analysis necessarily unless we want to come back and create further edits. So now that I've got this special dashboard, what I want to do is create an email report. So I'm going to go in here and say, uh, I want to say that this is the daily inventory report. And I'm gonna come up here and make sure that I remember to um, have this send out once a day because I want it daily. And uh, I'm gonna click on update and send report. And then I can come back here and I can create a new email report and have it uh, dedicated to the database instance type. And I wanna have it send out once a day. And uh, I can then save this report and I'll get this uh, report emailed of all these database instances. I hope you find this video helpful and you can generate your instance and resource list reports and keep them separate from the rest of your dashboard. Have a wonderful day.